Great storytelling and great reporting is marked by a feeling of immediacy and of immersion. With his latest documentary, filmmaker Faraz Fayyad has followed up Last Men in Aleppo with another chronicle of life in modern day Syria. The Cave is the story of a subterranean network of tunnels that function as a hospital. It is where the besieged residents of a war-torn town called Al Ghuta seek relative safe medical care. Most are greeted by Dr. Amani Balur, a female doctor in her late 20s who remains undaunted by the at times rampant sexism around her to serve as the hospital's managing position. The hospital endures everything from the constant fear of daily bombing raids to the heartbreak of children suffocating in war crime chemical attacks. The images are harrowing as they need to be and speak volumes about the tenuous sense of safety that Syrians live with. The cave is an extraordinary story of resilience and hope. And it's also a story of remarkable courage on the part of the doctors and the filmmakers. It is my pleasure to present a Peabody Award this year to The Cave. خلانا ندور على طريق للنجاة في حدا قسم الأطفال؟ الحصار فوق الأرض صار خانق صار الكهف بالنسبة للناس هو ملجأ للحياة من الموت اللي عم تربص فيهم فوق الأرض وللبنات وإلي هو كل شيء ليش عم تبكي؟ خايفة؟ شوفي أنت حساسة مثلي أنا بسرعة ببكي شو بدك تصيري لما تكبري؟ ما مقرر لسه؟ مو لازم تعرفي شو لازم تصيري؟ عايشين مشان نصير شغلة مهمة Thank you for the great honor of this prestigious award. Bashar al-Assad take over the election. Many countries planning to send back the Syrian refugees to what they call it a safe place. But how this so-called safe place look like? In 2011, when I was 26 year old Syrian student, I picked up my camera and went to the street to document the Syrian uprising. As a result, I was kidnapped by the regime and became among many enforced disappearances. I faced death in a torture chamber in Syria. I was told that because of the film I had made, I would never get my life back and no one would ever know about me. I survived among many of those killed under torture. I picked up my camera again and I began filming without a plan. I met many inspiring Syrians who stayed behind to save lives, including Dr. Amani Balour and her colleagues. They are superheroes who stay behind to defy the status quo and the stereotype. I made the cave commemorate their quest to end injustice and I give a voice to the victims of genocide and chemical attacks in Syria. In June 2020, nine years after being captured, I give my testimony at the first trial on Syrian state torture before a German court in Koblenz. Here, with this prestigious award, I'm a torture survivor, filmmaker, and the Syrian refugees sharing my voice to call to end injustice in Syria, and I hope I hope my voice will be heard. Thank you.